up my crazy subscriber this is Joe King John CD4 and today people I'll be teaching you guys the best class setup for the double P SH41. Now first things first this SMG right now I'm telling you it's the best in close range combat. No matter what all the other SMGs yeah they might keep up but not as good as this one. This gun is special let me tell you guys why. There were moments when I faced the enemy face to face within a few feet they shot me first and I killed them first. That's how special this SMG is. Let me show you guys step by step on what you need in order for you guys to complete this best class setup. So first things first is the division. You gotta need the airborne division. Now this one, it gives you a little bit more sprinting speed on everything. You know, you can climb obstacles faster, your sprint speed will be faster, and also um, you can sprint for longer distances. So you're gonna be able to get from point A to point B with no problem and domination. And kill confirm, you're gonna be able to you know confirm all those tags pretty quick. And also in team deathmatch, you gotta jump from cover to cover. This division will be for you so uh next thing we need you know is the double ps h41 pretty much easily unlockable it is the second smg to unlock in the whole division so you cannot miss out this will be the first gun you should unlock when you first play the game next thing we need the attachments will be the advanced rifling the reason why you need this one your bullets make more damage in distance so that's why i keep saying like every time you keep your distance it will keep its damage, even with the silencer on, and I do have a clip for that. So as you guys saw, this gun is just incredible. From short range to long range, it's still strong as hell. Next attachment will be the grip. If you guys really want to control that recoil, want to control the gun a lot better, because you're not going to let it control you. You got to control it. So you want to control the gun pretty much well, you're going to need the grip. I know some of you guys are going to be saying like, oh, you got to install the quick draw attachment or whatever. It really, it already comes with it. It, it feels like it already comes with it. That's why I keep, I keep telling you guys, you don't need the quick draw attachment. Those small clips that I just showed you right now, I did not have the quick draw attachment. It was just the grip and the advanced rifling. That's about it. So trust me, these two attachments are going to help you with this double PSH 41. Like a lot, by a lot. So another thing you need will be the SMG suppressor. You want to test that out with it or without it, whatever makes you feel comfortable. If you just enjoy the speed and the damage, then you don't need the silencer. But you want to sneak around pretty much easily behind the enemy lines and start flanking the enemy without getting noticed, then the SMG suppressor will be for you. And I mostly use the suppressor. It's a hell of a freaking attachment. I think this should have been a regular attachment to be honest because it will be available for all the guns but they didn't do it. So uh, so yeah, it's only available for the SMGs and uh, it's working pretty much well with the double PSH 41 because it keeps its, its damage and for some reason I feel more accurate with it too. So, uh, so yeah, it's kind of a big discussion but for me, I feel more accurate with the SMG suppressor. The next thing you need will be the basic training which will be called Hustle. Hustle will let you reload faster and even while sprinting. So, the reason why you need this, the gun has a very high rapid fire. It's a fire rate of 8. It's the second fastest fire rate in the whole game, and they'll all hold the SMG division. The MP40 also has 8, but the thing is, it doesn't shoot like 8. It actually shoots like a freaking 6. So I don't know what's wrong with this one. So, it's really, it's not the same thing. 
So uh, the double PSH 41, I mean, it shoots really quick, so you should be able to waste your ammo super quick. So without you like just stopping and camping in the corner and hiding and everything, like just go over there and just slowly reload. Instead of doing that, get hustle. It's gonna help you move faster, and you're gonna be able to keep your sprint also. If you're moving super fast around the map, you gotta reload real quick. There you go. Hustle is gonna help you out and take down the next enemy. You gotta get ready for the next enemy enemy at all times, no matter what. So that's why Hustle is there. It's a perfect combination if you guys really want to rush around. It's the best rushing class right now. The secondary, I mean, you can have whatever you want. I usually use the 1911. It's just that I, I just recently prestige. We don't have a lot of melee weapons, by the way. The tactical, I suggest to go with something that's non-lethal, but uh, it's really up to you. It's whatever feels to you, you know, whatever makes you feel a little bit more comfortable. That will be the one you're going to go with. Because this is whatever, to be honest. If you want to protect yourself from being attacked from behind, then the mine will be for you. If you want to slow down the enemies, then the British 16 for you. Um, you know, that's just a lot of choices for you guys to choose. For, for me personally, I use the British 69 to slow down the enemies and give me more of a, of a chance to, like, flank them. That's why I use this thing. So those are my tips guys, that's what's up with the double PSH-41 right now, it is an incredible gun, if you're having trouble with these other SMGs, use the double PSH-41 with my best class setup, and you'll kick some ass, I promise you that. So that is it guys, if you want to see more best class setups, subscribe for more, because it's going to be more Call of Duty World War 2 coming up.